hello and welcome in this video i will talk about on a much awaited and very important feature which is much required for most of the implementation which is exchange length of invoice number for vendor invoice so by the by the feature name i think you got to know this feature is all about to extend the invoice number field right now as of now on the starting the invoice number field was limited to 20 characters but with this feature this will allow you to you know add the invoice number till 50 characters okay let's see so now i have enabled this feature so in this invoice number field i can add character till 50 like this i can write this so it has been increased right and the, the similar thing which is available in the pending vendor invoices as well however there is a small activity you need to do you need to make sure that whenever you are going to use this or activate this feature you need to make sure that is there any customization you have done on this invoice number field or not because many organization since microsoft was not giving this function feature till date uh, let me so as i mentioned that this feature was much required so lot of lot of companies has not waited for this feature they have customized that field and extended that uh, invoice number field till as per their requirement okay so what microsoft is saying that if you see the description here if i just zoom it out so if you see from from there if you don't have customized code and want to use this feature currently please contact microsoft to enable another flight so this is the edt i think okay so you need to make sure that this invoice number field as of now there is no if there is no customization or or if you have not enabled or extended that field as per your requirement or organization requirement that means you need to ask microsoft to enable this flight enable this one okay if you have already customized then you don't need to do anything you just enable this feature and it will work like the same like 50 character only but if you have not customized this field for the first time if you are you know using this feature then go ahead and raise a ticket to microsoft and ask them to enable the edit string database string length attribute this one okay that is the reason i wanted to make this video so that you just don't miss this out and you raise this and make sure you you know follow this process if you don't have the customization you raise a ticket and they will allow you to uh, enable this one okay so that's what about this feature stay tuned for another feature like this thank you thanks for watching bye